Why are men today such pussies? Why are men today so feminine, so emotional? How did this happen? It's funny because a student asked me recently, like, what is the difference between men a hundred years ago, basically from 19, the 1920s versus men today in the 2020s? What is the big difference? And I said, the big difference is men back then were men, right? Men back then were forced to grow up fast. They were forced to grow up early. They were forced to... Um, join the military there was a draft back then a lot of these guys back back a hundred years ago and even less than that right my grandfather included because he my grandfather fought in world war one he fought in world war two and back then men were forced to kind of just really enjoy any little bit they got right it's like we didn't have a whole lot of luxury back then any freedoms we enjoyed we had to earn we had to fight for and that's why it's our duty as men today to defend that for our grandfathers for our great grandfathers people who have like really fought to give us freedom we have to defend that with our lives just as they did to get it for us right we can't cower and back down like pussies and you know just start like turning on each other so back then yeah, men were still men. And a lot of the reason for that was they had no choice, right? They had no choice. And this is the reason why a lot of guys today are such pussies is because they do have that choice. They do have that luxury. You don't have to go out and hunt for your food these days. You could just go down to the liquor store or to your 7-Eleven or, you know, your local CVS and like buy a bag of chips if you're hungry. You don't have to like come out here, grab your spear and go find a lion and then risk your life trying to kill him. You don't even have to do that anymore. We just, I, I think we all just have like too much luxury these days. There's no draft. You don't have to worry about joining the military at 18 when you're fresh out of high school. And then if you don't go for the rest of your days, people are gonna call you a draft dodger. You don't even have to deal with that anymore. You can thank your grandfather, your great grandfathers for fighting for you, okay? And all of those other people who came before you, all those other men who came before you who fought to get us freedom but today it's like we have just too much abundance and instead of appreciating that abundance instead of trying to build upon it instead of trying to become greater you get a lot of these guys a lot of these pussies right who are, are supposed to be men just turn on their their own ma like their own masculine frame and become feminine they become no different than a female who starts complaining Right? Can't appreciate jack shit. Will never be happy because those are the traits of usually a female, right? Females can never be happy no matter what you do for them. You give them the world. You give them everything they ask for and they're still not happy. Matter of fact, what I teach on my dating channel, you give a female everything she wants that she's asked you for and guess what? Not only will she not be happy, she will try to make sure that you're not happy either. She'll make your life miserable. Right? You just gave her everything she wanted. She's just never happy, right? It's just part of female nature. Chris Rock said this. Chris Rock, don't shoot the messenger. Chris Rock said this. He said, women can never be happy, right? I've never met a happy woman in my life. They're always complaining about something. Even if you give them everything, there's always something they find that they can complain about. Instead of being happy for what they get, they have to find something to complain about. And so when these guys, especially today, a lot of these guys are being raised by the feminine, whether it's by a single mother or you know, just constantly being surrounded by the feminine, school teachers, most of the teachers out there are female. Everywhere you look in society, it's being dominated by the feminine. So it makes you more feminine if you're not red pill yet, if you're not educated, you tend to fall prey to their agenda. And you turn on yourself, you begin to hate your masculinity and you become more feminine. You become just like mama, right? As I like to say. Come just like mom. You would identify more with your mother than you do with your father. And then instead of appreciating all of this luxury and abundance and greatness that we have at our fingertips, instead of appreciating all that and being thankful, you complain about it. Oh, this was built on the back of evil and capitalism and all this other stuff. And oh, this is so wrong. And you need to be socialist and all this. You just start turning on yourself, right? 
you just start turning on yourself. A hundred years ago, those guys would have killed to be in your place. Those guys would have killed to have the freedom that you have, the luxury you have, the technology you have, the freedom to not have to go to war and possibly lose their life or lose an arm or lose a leg. You don't have to worry about that. There's no draft. You don't have to worry about anybody like coming knocking on your door in the middle of the night the day you turn 18 and going, hey, get your toothbrush and get your bags. Let's go. Right? Off to camp. You got to go to the military. You got to go uh, put in your, your service. You don't have to worry about that. My, my grandfather had to worry about that and he went. He served in two wars. Right? I'm the first like the first generation where I didn't have to do that. I didn't have to go through a draft. Even my dad had to go through a draft. I'm the first generation that I didn't have to deal with that. And it's like, whoa. We came a little bit close. Um, I want to say in the early 90s. I was in college at the time. I think it was like the Iraq war going on. And uh, they were talking about a draft. They were talking about, you know, drafting people. And my dad told me at the time, he was like, uh, you better stay in school. <laughs> They'll come for you. He's like, they'll come right for you. Men don't have the pressure on them that they did before. They don't have the social pressure, the social stigma on them that they did before to be men. You feel me? They don't have that pressure on them. So because they don't have that pressure on them, you know, instead of appreciating the fact that they don't have it, they complain about it. They just look for anything to bitch about. I'm grateful to have grown up in the country that I did. I'm grateful and thankful to have the opportunities that I have. I'm thankful for uh, the people who fought for this country or whatever country you're in. You, you, I mean, you have your own story, right? You have your own military who probably fought for you. You can identify with that. I'm not just saying me because I live in, the, you know, I'm American. I live in the United States. Uh, this is just where I happen to grow up. But And this is where my grandfather you know, my grandfather grew up. A lot of guys have asked too, like, how long has your family been there? Uh, my family has actually been here since the 1700s. Uh, so a lot of people have asked, like, where are you from originally? <laughs> my family's been here since the 1700s. They've all been drafted and they've all served in the military. Uh, again, I'm the first, the first generation that didn't have to do that. There was no draft anymore. It was like, hey, if you want to go serve, you can voluntarily do that. At one time, I wanted to be a pilot in the Navy, a dream in the back of my head, but I just did other things. I've always appreciated the freedom and the liberty and the abundance and the ability to go out there and just live as you want, do as you want, be as you want, and just try to live the best life you can and just not spend your life bitching and complaining like so many so many dudes do these days. It's like so many guys bitch and complain about, oh, this and oh, that. It's like, dude, we have it better. Even the homeless people these days have it better than anybody did, like an average person did 100 years ago. Okay, because back then, not only did you have the draft, you had prohibition, you had the depression, right? We had the depression in the in the 20s, 30s. Yeah, we went through the Great Depression, uh, the stock market crash. We had the stock market crash. It was uh, Black Friday, I believe. Uh, people were jumping off buildings back then. And th there was a lot of uh, despair in those days. There was a lot of uncertainty. There was a lot of uh, just restlessness and stress and uh, if you look at a lot of old photos and uh, documentaries back a hundred years ago and you just see like what people were going through, I, I couldn't imagine living back then. You know, I couldn't imagine. It was a very, very hard time. And these people just wanted to get through it. These people just wanted to provide for their families and they just wanted an opportunity to live a decent quality life. And these days, everybody for the most part has that. Unfortunately, most men these days have become like that because they have really began to just identify more with their feminine than their masculine just for the fact that that's all they're being taught to do these days, right? By everybody, whether it's the mainstream, everywhere you look, basically. I mean, your school teachers are probably telling you this to do this, which are basically all female. The entire mainstream telling you to do this, right? If Anytime you turn on the mainstream news, they're all telling you to do this. Late night talk show hosts, I can't stand those pussies. All of them, all beta. Every single one of them, beta, with maybe the exception of uh, Conan. He's kind of tried to distance himself from that. With the exception of Conan, from what I've seen, um, every single one of these dudes, beta, totally identify with their feminine more than, more than their masculine. And you wonder why these guys are growing up to be the way they are. It's because they haven't been taught otherwise. Now they identify more with mama than they do their father. They act more like their mama than they do their father. Just because they can't separate 
separate themselves from that now. And, and this is why we have this red pill training, this red pill education, this knowledge for you, so that you can you know, kind of give yourself the antidote for that. Even in government, you see them plugging in like, well, I mean, females in the government and these chicks are going to be enacting a lot of laws, a lot of policies, a lot of programs that in the end aren't really going to be that helpful for men, right? They're not going to be helpful for men. There's too much feminization already and that's why you see so many guys out there acting like pussies, being pussies, and not acting like men and not being men. You have to remember at the time, society, um, our laws, culture, supported the patriarchy. It supported man and woman. It supported men and women getting married and having families. It really supported it. And our economy revolved around it too. It revolved around couples getting married, having families, buying houses, buying cars, buying appliances, taking vacations. Our economy supported it. Nowadays, it's like they're trying to tear it all down and they're trying to turn it upside down. And this is why you're seeing the result of this. It's just a lot of craziness in society. And if you don't have the light of God within you, you cannot see it, right? If you are not red-pilled, you cannot see it. You will just go along with it like, no, it's fine. It's fine. What's wrong with that? Stop being a misogynist. Stop being a homophobe or whatever. It's like you'll just go along with it. So... Just be glad you're subscribed to channels like this and you're educating yourself. You've found knowledge like this that you can apply to your life. And if you have sons, you can teach them as well. You ain't going to read about this red pill stuff in school. They ain't going to let anybody print no textbooks that they're going to be passing out to students about like how to be red pill. That's never going to happen. This is never going to go mainstream, guys. And the only times that it's gotten close to going mainstream, the Matrix has tried to shut it down very quickly, right? They try to shame it, like, oh, look at the hateful group and all this other stuff. So uh, you are not going to be taught this in school. So the only place you're going to learn it is places like this, you know? And, and, the, and you even see YouTube, like, shutting down the voices of other content creators um, who speak out. So we'll see what happens in the future. This is why it helps to subscribe to my channel. It helps to be my programs. So I'm going to wrap up here. Until next time, this is Matt Cross from Alpha Male Secrets signing out from my garage with my DeLorean over here in the background. Beautiful car. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Go ahead and smash it right now. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it. Why? So that you get notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. Okay, so hit the notification bell as well. Otherwise, you will not be notified when I upload brand new coaching videos fresh to my channel. So make sure you're notified as well. And also, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. So make sure you subscribe as well. Okay, because it helps not just the channel out, but it helps out other men. Because the more people who subscribe to the channel, the more men we reach, right? And God knows men need this type of knowledge. All right? And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content that I am teaching you even further, the best way to do that is by becoming a premium subscriber of my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel, which I am hosting on a private platform away from YouTube. And the reason I'm doing that is to protect my content from YouTube in the event they try to shut us down one day, right? All of my premium Alpha Male Secrets lessons will be protected. Why? Because I'm paying for this platform and it's encrypted. So nobody can take us down, right? It's a private encrypted platform where all of my Alpha Male Secrets coaching videos will remain forever. <laughs> so, if you want to support my work, that's the best way to do it, by becoming a premium subscriber of my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel. And right now, it's only one buck for the entire first month of premium Alpha Male Secrets content from me. And it's real easy to sign up. All you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.